Worn by women for every occasion, the high heel is one of the most iconic and popular pieces of footwear in the world. Even Cinderella had a pair. Lisa Beth Kovitz has more. Nothing in our culture is as glorified and yet as low to the ground as women's shoes. The Brooklyn Museum's Killer Heels exhibit looks at the history of the high heel from the 16th century to today. We caught up with curator Lisa Small. Lisa, what makes an object a work of art? Well, it's a complicated question. I mean, you can talk about things like intentionality, the intention of an artist. If you go back to the idea of a ready-made, an object is a work of art if an artist says it is. What is this exhibit saying about women and gender and the functionality of women? One of the things we wanted to do is show how, in the realm of shoe design, in terms of the type of shoes a woman might choose to wear, high shoes, elevated shoes, there's so much of a range of designs and things that they could be trying to suggest about themselves, issues of identity, of confidence, of power, the sort of obsessive nature of high heels, what it does to their body and what they like or don't like about that, who they're wearing it for. Are they wearing it to be seen? Are they wearing it for themselves because they like to be aware of their body? I mean, you know, if you've worn high heels, you can't forget that you're wearing them. So there's a whole host of reasons, but I think we wanted to explore, particularly through the historical shoes, how elevated shoes have been a thing for quite a long time, you know, centuries in fact, and they've had some different meanings, but also some very consistent meanings. And what were those consistent meanings? They've always been uh, related to issues of high status. Elevated shoes were shoes that you wore when clearly you didn't have to do very much physically. You didn't have to walk, you didn't have to do manual labor. Does a shoe tell a story? Shoes definitely tell a story, you know, and we have shoes here that have been worn um, and belong to Marilyn Monroe. Um, those shoes have their own aura about them, I think. They're, they're Ferragamo stilettos from the 50s. And then there are you know, shoes that have been made by um, artists, designers who are doing something so completely out there, you, you wonder what the story in their own mind was for the, the person they envisioned to wear those shoes and under what circumstances. So I do think that they tell a story both on an individual individual level as well as a broader cultural level. In organizing the exhibition thematically rather than chronologically, even though we have historical shoes in the show, it was more about looking at shoes through these wider lenses. We're standing here in the section called Metamorphosis, which is really about both how your body is transformed by any high heel shoe, but also how high heel shoe design itself in this section can be a kind of hybrid or an object that looks like it's in flux in some way. How would you like a viewer to approach this show? Come with an open mind. I know that many Many of the people who come to see this show are people that are already predisposed to love or obsess over high heels. But I would also like people to come who either have you know, no fixed opinion about them or even who hate them um, to sort of just learn a little bit about this social and cultural history behind high heels and sort of come away with an appreciation for the form as this item of material culture, as something that says a lot about the person who wore it in that time period, about what the interests of that time period were to sort of have a broader appreciation of the form rather than just, oh my God, shoes, <laughs> or oh my God, heels. But still, oh my God. But still, we'll take oh my God, heels, because, you know, that's a great part of our audience, and, you know, we love that they're excited about it. I think you made a lot of people really happy. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Are any of these available in the gift shop? <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> Thanks so much for spending time with us. This has been Lisa Beth Kovitz for Arts in the City. Mm -hmm.